What's going on guys and welcome to episode 7 of this position player road to the show series. We are going to take on the Midland Coach Rockhounds in this episode, the AA affiliate of the Oakland Athletics as we have a meeting here by the hitting coach. Justin, you have gotten a chance to check out the physical training opportunities that are available to you on your off days as such. Not yet, but I will when I can. Thanks. So, the first four games of this road trip did not go the way I wanted as we dropped three of four to the Corpus Christi Hooks, which I forgot to mention into the video was the double A affiliate of the Houston Astros. But here we are. I'm batting 495 Welcome on the year. As you can tell that the dog, King, has still been craving attention. But that's not going to happen at the moment just because I gave him plenty of head scratches and plenty of walkies in between videos. I am going to do a little bit of bulk recording here to get this set of videos out i want to do three videos a session and then upload it every other day so this will go up on tuesday or the uh first episode of the session one will go up today tuesday J june 18th this one might go up on thursday and then Saturday. So I'm going to try to stick to a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule as much as I can. Obviously, I might get more games in. And I will definitely do that, especially now that I'm doing a grinding montage uh, of sorts. So it doesn't have to be an everyday upload, which while I liked the everyday uploads i understand it might have been a little bit too much and i saw that a little bit in the viewership uh so i'm going to try this every other day type thing see if that works out a little bit better for me not viewership wise but i was also just very burned out on the game and uh that was another partial reason why i wanted to just do a grinding montage for the Springfield game. And again, if you haven't seen that video, it will go up in the cards right above my head in the top of the screen as we have bases loaded here down or oh, up three to two. And that is going to be dropped in for base hit. I'm going to be out at second. I had to make sure I was... Had to make sure that one was going to get down, so I'm not going to be too mad about being out there. I wish I would have just been aggressive, but if I would have been aggressive and they would have caught it, I would have been out at first, and that would have been double play. And double plays are not okay as I ground out to third baseman. But I think that's going to be my last at bat here against Midland in the first game of the series. It will be. We do pull out the win. Uh, so I go one for four with a single. Uh, not my best at bat. But it is increasing that hitting streak. Uh, like I said before, the Rockhounds are the AA affiliate of the Oakland Athletics. My batting average is up to 484, as you see on the screen. And there's a runner on second. As I fly out? No, that's just going to be foul ball. Oh, but anyway. So, that's going to be a base hit. Is that going to be a ribby? No. He's going to hold at third. Probably smart. As that was a very sharply hit ball to the center fielder. And uh, Chen has upped his game a little bit. He was batting 193 before that pop out. Which was better than the 086 that he was against... Arkansas the last time or two episodes ago 
Uh, so he's picked it up in that regard as I step on first to end the inning. And this will take us into the video game month of May after this series is over as that one is drilled well to left field but caught. So I'm still trying to get my batting average up to that 500 mark. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with two consecutive ground outs as that's going to be actually a double play. Which, while it doesn't hurt the batting average any more than a simple ground out, it will. I never like hitting into double plays because it just kills any type of momentum that you're in. And with a such a close game like this one, any little pebble can make a difference. As it's the top of the ninth, zero, zero, one out. And I just get a base hit. I'm okay with that. I'm starting a rally. I'm okay with it. And it was a solid base hit to the right field. So I'm peppering the ball all across the outfield. So they can't really shift on me too terribly much. Because I am hitting it very well. As I'm hoping my buddy Chen here can... Nope. I was going to say, I'm hoping my buddy Chen can... Pull through and we can get the me over to second, but not going to be the case. Maybe my buddy Hughes here. That's another thing, too. I have been starting to make friends with the other players, seeing as how I believe that I'm going to be here a while. And that pop-out will give me an opportunity in the 11th. Second and third. One out. So, ball in the air scores a run. Ball up the middle for a base hit will score a run as well. So, I break the scoreless tie. I will absolutely take that hit. Three for five on the day. And all three of them have been singles, which is okay. But... Come on, Chen. Base hit, baby. Scores a run. Grounder scores a run, too. As long as it's not a double play. Crap. We get one. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. But I'm going to have another chance to drive in another run as there's a runner on second and third again. One out. Hmm. Deja vu. But against the lefty this time. So I'm just going to pepper that to right field. That's going to get down. Is that going to... Ground rule double. I score both of them. Frick. That was awesome. Trying to eliminate that other F word. And not the one that you guys are thinking of. You guys are nasty. No. Uh, fantastic. That's the word I'm going to try to eliminate because, again, I've seen that way too much in the first five videos when something good happens i drop that word and i don't want to use that anymore as much as i have been but that was unbelievable as i'm going to try to score here probably a mistake no it's not i'm going to score standing up we extend our lead to four to one is that going to be enough though or am i going to have to come up in the later part of the extra innings. Off the inning, Sean and need him bottom of the 13th. 4-1. to one. Nobody out. 3-2 count. This is going to be hit right to me. I'm going to go to my right and step on the bag for the first out. Let's hope that's going to be enough. And run around first now. Bottom 13. Two outs now. This could be the game, the pitch, grounder, and it will be as I just casually step on the first, ending the game. I finish with a three, four for six with a double, and that was a ground world double. So not a bad game against the Rockhounds as we move into the next one. Again, my hitting streak is still alive, guys. And that's always awesome. And I'm 5 for 10 on the series with a double and 3 RBI. So I'm going to try to improve on that. 
from the stretch. As I have a lefty on the mound today, so it's going to be a little bit harder because I'm going to be all contact, no power. Just because my power against lefties are not as well as my power against righties, but let me try a power swing here. Curveball got me to pop it up to center. Going to be the second out. So, if there's one thing that I need to work on, it's definitely my hits against the lefties. As I have noticed, my batting average is at 490, which, again, is still... That's Hall of Fame numbers right there. As it's just going to go up with that base hit up the middle. Uh, but... I also, since this is a video game, I want it to be as high as possible as my buddy Phillips is one for one today with his batting average being at a 194. Again, just under that Mendoza line, but it's not as bad as what he was against Springfield the second episode. So it would be episode four. Into the box or five. Now. I can't remember. He singled his last time up. The first Contact swing for a hit. Absolutely, I will. Base it. Base it. That's going to be a double, actually. As that's nope. I'm just going to be held to a single, but that's okay. Ah, that was a contact swing, though. They say that with power. That with no power. Oh well. Whatever. Those mini missions are not as important as I think they are right now, so it's not. A big loss as I lose my helmet on a slide, and we have runners on first and second now with nobody out. Top of the sixth on a one-to-one -one game, so I really would like to get up as they turn two. But now there's a runner on third, a.k.a. me. I am that runner on third with two outs now, so I'm running on anything. And for a 300 hitter, who's one for two on the day, it's going to be pretty good chances I'm going to score here. And, and as I say that, oh well. So we are now down by four at five to one. Not the type of game that this has turned out to be. I've had a pretty decent day at the plate, but sometimes that's not enough as that is popped up to the second basement. I'm two for three on this game. And now I'm facing a ready. So this is going to be power swing time. But you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side Get out. Has been really impressive. No, nope. going to be a double though. Oh, that might be a triple. Because I hit the bag as they throw it in. And yeah, I'm going to be caught here in a rundown. Nope, I'm going to be safe at second. That could have been a mistake, but I hit my RBI double. I don't know if that's my 21st RBI double or, or my 21st double or if that's my 21st RBI. I'll have to see the next time I get that statistic up. As he walks Phillips. And now Chen, who's one for three on the day, who doubled in the fourth. Let's see what he can do here. Swing and a miss. So that will get us to two outs. Rosario. One for three on the day against Coffee. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's going to end the threat. Is it? No. Okay, so Chen was the first out. Rosario the second out. Costella. Oh, in one count. He's 0 for three on the day pop up that's gonna end the inning
So it's one run on one hit, one error. As we leave two on base. And then it's still a 5-2 game in the bottom of the eighth. Let's see if I can't get one more at bat here. I doubt it, though. As I reach to my right and just flip it to the pitcher. Nice. Three to one. Put out. And I will get one more at bat. So... Runners on, set first and second, two outs, top of the ninth, and it's a lefty. So there goes my power swing, as that's just going to be a nice fly out to right, as I'm the last out of the inning, or of the game, sorry. And that is that. I finished with three for five of the day, but that's not going to be enough, as we drop game three to the Rockhounds, as we face game four here stepping up to the plate Justin Griffiths and I'm 500 on the year eight for 15 in the series two doubles four RBIs so I have 26 RBIs on the year see if I can't get RBI number 27 swing and a miss Again, there's only one out, so I just need to put the ball in the air. Scores a run. Base hit would be nice, too. That won't happen, though, but I will get the sacrifice fly. Yes, sacrifice fly for me. RBI number 27 is in the books. And for the first month of the year, that is not bad. Having almost 30 RBIs on the year. As I pop that one up to center, is going to take charge of it. So I'm 0 for 1 on the day. And we have our own lefty on the mound today. Yes, that's going to be a double play, hopefully. Yell yeah, 1 and 2. I always cringe with that double play because it looks like I'm sliding my foot off the base. We are now up 4 2 in the top of the sixth inning. As I swing and miss at that two seam fastball. Hits this one hard the other way. Hasten right there. Rounder to the second baseman. Not gonna get it done. Now I'm worried about my hitting streak. I wasn't before. But now with a sack fly and a ground out and a fly out. Game pretty much in hand. Now I'm a little concerned. Just because I worked so hard on that hitting streak. You never want to see a hitting streak end, even if you only go one for four on the day. And I'm going to go, yeah, that's going to be the end of the hitting streak. Oh, well. Can't drive in the run either. But again, I wasn't too concerned about driving in the run. I was more concerned about my hitting streak in that situation. Now, if this was a closer game, like a 3-2 to two game, and I know we needed an insurance run, I wouldn't be as concerned about my hit streak because it's just a hit streak. It's still, you know, it's still part of the game. You're going to have those 0-4 for 4 type days. Uh, and... As this is actually getting a little bit closer, I don't want it to get too terribly close that I need to be a hitter in extras, though, because that would mean that we gave up a four-run lead late in the game. We want to get one more at bat. Top of the ninth. Okay, base is loaded. Nobody out. Okay, base it. Please base it. That's all I'm asking for. Hold it off. Dan, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? 
second pitch here. It's going to be a sacrifice fly. It's going to score a run, and that's what we needed. So it's going to be 7-4. to four. Uh, Again, since we were not in control of the game as much, I'm okay with that, my second sacrifice fly of the game. I am a little disappointed that my hitting streak comes to an end. But I do get two sack flies on the day and two RBI. And that's what it all is all about. It's helping your team when you can. And I did that in the first and I did that in the ninth to secure that 7-4 to four victory. Anyway, guys, let's see if there's going to be a cutscene here. Nope. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. We are going to be at home as we play the Corpus Christi Hooks to begin the month of May in this position player road to the show series. Again, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.